Hello friends, I'm so happy to be here with you today. So listen, (laughs) there's an interesting phenomena going on in the charts now, and that is this sort of lack of activity and this interesting image here. Um, And I'm going to get to that, but before I do, to tell the whole story, I need to talk about this wave of light that came in on November 4th. And that's what this video is going to focus on. Then I'll do a follow-up video to tell the rest of the story because (laughs) there's two clear, clear um, messages here that I really want to get across and, and take the time to go into. So what happened before this period of seeming inactivity? was this interesting wave happened, and I want to show it to you. (laughs) Actually, okay. First, I'm going to show you the wave that happened, which was, um, I believe my last video was on this. I called it the Gates of Heaven and explained quite a few things about it and that it's appeared previously in the chart. It's kind of like, like a touch point of the divine in my in my sense of things, um, a show of divine presence. And that happened on Thursday, October 9th in the chart. The reason that I wanted to show you this image is because what you will see is that the image that I was just referring to is very, very similar. This is what occurred on November 4th. Now, what's the difference between these... Ah. (laughs) What's the difference between these two images? Okay, because this looks a lot like the gates of heaven, doesn't it? But do you notice something about it? Look at the stretched outness. I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger here. Okay, look at the stretched outness. In the usual presentation of this in the Schumann, you'll see kind of big balls here. And, and sort of thick, um, <laughs> uh, thick, th- thick, thick um, expressions of the white resonance, and then big, bo- big balls kind of at the top, almost like the you know balls in the top of a gate post. So let's go back to the current chart. There we go. Okay, so here you can see how stretched out. Okay, do you see here? See how there's much more fullness at this level. Da, 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 da. That's at about mm, 14, 14-ish. And <laughs> it's almost like a crest into awakening, right? Uh, it's almost like a, you know, if I was to use an image in the Schumann for, quote-unquote, the great awakening or a great awakening of, um, of uh, spirit, in, you know, as a human being, suddenly I get this, da-da, eureka, it would be this image, because you see the ball, it just, you, you get a, you get the uh, movement of energy from the low hertz, okay, up into the higher hertz, and then there's a, a ball of light here, right here, okay, right at this level, like a puff, like a like a, it's the, that lightning strike idea where, where suddenly the, the light bulb lights over the cartoon character's head. <laughs> There's an expansion, okay? And so the, the physical image that we see in the chart uh, expands right here. And what is that? Let's go back here. Um, it's between uh, 12 and 16 hertz on the chart. And that's exactly where we crest into the high alpha brain waves. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So basically what happens is down here are our um, maybe unconscious and subconscious, 
um, brain waves, okay? So whether we're in a kind of a deep unconscious state or then we're in a dream state or even in my view, an intuitive state or a zero point state in waking or semi-waking, I'm guessing would be in here as well. Okay, so and then then the um, as you move up the hertz, you get into the alpha wave, which is bringing that into bringing what was here into awakening, into daily life, into consciousness. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and the crest of the alpha waves occurs right about here, which is ta da! Exactly where we see the expansion in this image. Okay. All right. So this is the full gates of heaven image. And that what was what we saw before the American election. Now, <clears throat> oh, look what happened. Okay. This is the day in the United States. This is the day after the election. Okay. Because now the time changed. So it's not... Um, so this used to be 6 a.m. and now it's 5 a.m. on the Pacific Coast, so it's 10 a.m. So 9 a.m., 8, 7. So right about here is 7 a.m. on the East Coast of the United States. And then into our day over here, bam, this is what happened the day after the election, kind of like waking up with a hangover, I guess. <laughs> so you, you see how this is very like stretched out. Now I'm going to explain a new concept. This is one I haven't talked about before. And what it actually is, is a concept of interdimensional physics or how light moves from one dimension to another, or even from one dimensional layer to another dimensional layer. I often get asked, um, what is the hertz of the fifth dimension on this chart? Oh, I know that I addressed this in a previous video, but I want you I want to reframe the way that we look at this, okay? In the human body that you have, you can live in your human body, you're alive, and hold multiple dimensional states and multiple be in multiple layers of the same dimension within your physical body at the same time. Now, I've explained this on, on other videos, but now I really want to get into this concept, and here's what it is. Light warps through the dimensions. It warps through the, the dimensions when you're moving from a higher expanded state to a denser state of being. And in my view, this is what we see here. Okay, so the election was a bit of a shock to the world because um, because stuff didn't go like like usual. Okay, the process uh, was abruptly halted and abrupt. There were these abrupt shifts and sidesteps and and various news about it. So I believe that what happened here. Okay is you are seeing in the chart two different dimensional states, okay? So this is what I'm saying. This is the hurt in which we live, okay? This is in which we swim because this, is the, this chart happens to coincide with human brain waves all the way up to gamma up here, beta, and then gamma up here, and then um, theta and delta down here. So... If I live in the human body, in this set of <clears throat> brain waves, okay, this set of hertz, I can achieve higher expanded states and lower states, but the numbers here don't necessarily change. <laughs> What's fascinating, though, is the images on the chart change, and that's where we can extrapolate some interesting data. So how does light warp through the dimensions? Watch this. Ah, oh, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I'm going to show, talk about that in a sec. All right, so this, I would say, is an image of a higher dimensional state. It's happy. It's excited. It's elated. 
It's like a gong ring, and we're all in tune with it across the world. We're open with expectation of something positive happening. Our heart rises up to meet this frequency because joy leaps up from our heart when we meet the divine. That's, that's a normal human thing, okay? Our heart leaps. <laughs> you know, it's interesting because um, I was traveling through the western United States several years ago, and I had always read this line that uh, that beauty could take your breath away, okay? And I'd, I'd never physically experienced that before. And I just thought, oh yeah, you know, <laughs> some love-struck person wrote that line. Well, when I drove through the western United States and I ended up going on a trip with um, for 8,500 miles around the western United States and I saw amazing sights, when we got to the Grand Canyon, I wasn't prepared for what I saw. I walked to the edge, and as it came into the view, oh, my heart literally leapt up. It literally, I literally had this, like, it took my breath away. Like, it just, it's like my heart leaped up, and my body was, you know, physically trying to catch up with the excitement of what happened when my eyes saw this the beauty of God, like expressed in physical form. It was stunning. And um, this happened actually more than once because there's some amazing natural formations in the Western United States. Anyway, I'm, there, there are many everywhere. So you can, um, I'm sure that many of you, wherever you live, um, have the opportunity to experience this uh, the physical reaction to great beauty. It happens in the physical, okay? I didn't leave my body, although it, it felt like my heart leapt up a few dimensions there for, for, <laughs> for a few minutes. And yet I was still operating within these brain waves. <laughs> Isn't it fascinating? Okay, now, so this, I would say, is like a higher dimensional state, like I just described. Now, how does light warp through the dimensions? Well, the dimensions as, so we have expanded states of being, okay? But then we have denser states of being. And when you're in a denser state of being, it's, it's like it's a little more challenging for the light to get in. It's, it's like, um, you know, in Star Trek, where... <laughs> I just had to laugh at myself for talking about Star Trek. Okay, so in um, both the original series and Star Trek Next Generation, the opening scenes are of the Enterprise, okay, the starship. And it starts at one place, it's, it's steady. And then it suddenly it warps, right, into warp speed, where now it's going to just shoot across the solar systems and, and open space and go visit some new territory, okay? And so it starts at one point, and what it shows on the TV show in, in the <laughs> is that the uh, vessel moves forward, and then there's this drag of light behind it, okay? In a way, that's like the concept of, in this case, lower dimensional to higher dimensional, okay? When they show you the ship uh, that has warped forward in speed, time, and its location in space, the ship is clear, okay? So therefore, we're looking at it from the higher dimensional space because it's clear as it's warped forward in the image on the TV, the past, the point at which it started, is obscured by a blur of light. And there's kind of this explosive effect, right, as the ship goes forward. <clears throat> so that's like this eureka, okay, that happens in the, uh, when the gates of heaven is sort of in full bloom on the chart. Now what happened here? where the balls at the alpha level didn't occur. There wasn't that eureka moment. It's like it got missed. It's like we were preparing for it, right? We were preparing for, ah, wow. like, And we were preparing for this, 
building of energy to cross this amazing something. And then it didn't happen, right? It didn't happen. What happened? We, humanity, we sunk down. We sunk down because something was different. We were disappointed. We didn't get what was going on. We were suspicious. We were like, what's going on? We didn't get the, the positive end effect. There was something missing. When that happens, your energy field as a human being contracts. The light has to warp down through the dimensions to reach us. Okay? And that's why <laughs> it turns to green here at 40 hertz. Now look what happened. <laughs> I just, you know, I always, I find that it's healthy to laugh. Do you see what happened? Look at, look at what happened here. The, the darkness attempted, the forces of darkness attempted to reach up to 40 hertz. Now, <clears throat> for some reason I can't expand this more today, but you can see here that it actually didn't, it just turned to a very, very dense color of blue here. Very, very, so here's the difference, right? This is like a higher, more expanded state of being. This is almost like a depression, okay? And that extended through our full consciousness into, for a moment, into even the high gamma waves. But look, we were protected by this light, right? That divine white resonance. God's got us, even in our questioning, even as we contract the d divinity, the, the light, reaches through, down through the dimensions. So in the example of that Starship Enterprise, and if you can imagine the, the image of the ship warping, and if you haven't seen that, just look up Starship Enterprise <laughs> opening scene or something on Google. But now imagine, okay, if the Starship now is going to go backwards to its starting point, okay, so it, what happens? It's at this kind of high, fast speed, and suddenly, zoom, it has to downshift. So if we take the original image that I described and imagine it going back down, what's happening? Well, visually, okay, if we were looking at the image on the TV, it would go from a larger, clearer ship, and it would get smaller, 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 smaller. It would be obscured from our vision. And that, that extended light that warped, warped, right, that showed that we're now at warp speed would start reducing with the ship, but it would be attached to the ship as it reduced down to the obscure, far away starting point, somewhere in the distance, okay? Somewhere in the distance where the ship started before it initiated warp. So, so as the ship went backwards, sort of in time, space, and location, the light diminishes, it gets smaller and harder to see. That's what's going on here. The light warps through the dimensions. See that? And what happened? <clears throat> Our reward was there. It was like a record skip. Okay? <laughs> it, th something didn't happen that was expected. Humanity lowered its dimensional state. The divine light warped through the dimensions and followed us. The, the Creator never leaves its children. God's got our back. No matter what state of being we are at, whether we're happy or sad, whether we're joyous or in depression, whether we're angry or whether we're full of, um, full of righteousness. In my next video, I'm going to explain how this relates to the current inactivity on the chart.